episode nine, I think. The Jack nine? Trent Gove episode is in number nine. David Neese, number nine. Trent Cochin, number nine. Oh, how are you going? F9. F9. Ben of, Cousins. A couple of great number nines. A couple of great number who's, nines. Who's nine for the D's for the minute? Nine for the D's at the minute. Who is nine for the D's? Yeah, this is a mare. It is Charlie Spargo. Jeez, that was a good one, Darth. Uh, in your monologue that I featured in last week, just promise. Oh, yeah, you're in the first ten. You're joining me again, cameraman Bailey. How are you, mate? Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. <laughs> I love being here. I love being here with you. You're up and about, and I reckon it could have been the six coffees you had just before we got here. Yeah, double shot and then the takeaway. <laughs> to go. So, no, I'm ready to go. And this works out. Is there going to be a little bit of conversation about the Melbourne Demons little sc- uh, scuffle? The scuffle. Uh, it's a bit more of a scuffle, it seems. Um, I'm a bit embarrassed at the minute, and I haven't felt embarrassed to support the D's about that? for about 18 months. You're pretty excited. On the app. What are you, what are you talking about now? Well, I was asking. No if, comment. I was asking if they're going to talk about it. I'm a bit embarrassed by it. Um, that, so, Caden McDonald, that guy, he goes, Oh, can you make me coffee? I was like, Yeah, man. He goes, Oh, can you do like half a shot? Look at that. He's just, he's just having a cup of milk. You know what he does? He does the half shot arm and latte. That's disgusting. I go a half shot. What the hell, bro? Arm and it's like a warm milk. Yeah, it's gross. It's like a baby. Your baby's baby milk. That's, That's baby. good. Baby food. That's really good. It's exciting. Caleb Sarong, what a gun, what a jet. Great up and coming so midfield. Oh, wait. So Not good. anymore. Chera left. But 2021 parody. Won't, uh, won't bring that up. <laughs> I'm look at the lyrics. <laughs> oh, stop about? it. What oh, are you up to, Baz? I'm just killing life, really. Just had a lot of little wins. Little wins. And you take your little wins, I think. It's all about the little wins. But it's a big win today, and we'll keep it under wraps, but I'm excited. Goal of the year 2021 20, AFL. I reckon it was Sarong. It was Sarong. Sarong, so Sarong. So I can't believe that wasn't on the run sheet by me. I mean, I am an amateur. You suck at this, mate. Let's do it. Let's do it. Becky McGee, don't mess with me. Thanks, Brett. Brett, thanks again for your help, mate. Really appreciate it. Nah, no, yeah, thanks, Brett. We really do appreciate it, mate. Just an echo here. <clears throat> All right, let's fire up. Um, Caleb Sarong, welcome to Goes All Right. Hey, mate. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's great to be here. You seem to settle into the AFL really, really quickly. Um, so I can't imagine you being too intimidated early. But did you have a welcome to the AFL moment where you went, oh, geez, I'm in the big leagues here? Yeah, it was po- It was my first game. I am known to be, especially as a, I feel like I've mullowed out a little bit, but I feel like I was a, known to be a pretty fiery <laughs> young bloke and always in there for a, for a scrap or whatever. And it was my first game and it was just for half time and one of the boys <laughs> got pushed or something and I... Went back at it was against Gold Coast up in up at Metricon and I went back and it ended up being a pretty solid kind of scrap and um, I was getting thrown from pillar to post. I reckon Took Miller's just spear tackled me and I'm like far out and then I'm getting hosed by the the Suns um, players, pretty much saying, "Mate, it's your first game. You've had three touches. I'd probably focus on getting getting a kick before you start trying to start fights." And I'm like, "Oh, that's probably fair." So. At that point, I was like, oh, yeah, I probably got to bite my time a little bit. But I guess that was just kind of that confidence that I had coming in. I just kind of wanted to – didn't really know what I didn't know, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to come in and just be myself, and that was kind of how it came out. But that was a bit of a bit of an eye-opener for me. Caleb's are wrong. He's the best bloke ever. That was my favourite chat. Was the favourite one you've had so Yeah. I could chat to him forever. He, he, oh, what a legend. That was good. Yeah, I, I didn't get to hear it. So. Yeah, true. I got through half my half my questions. I'm going for the Dockers now. I almost went for the Dockers sort of 2008, 2009. I was very close. Like Matthew Pavlidge, Sanderlands. Um, who else was running around? Probably Monday, Monday types. Um, Zachy Dawson. I, I, I was very close. They were good for so long. The 2000s, Toby Green. Um, yeah, Ballantyne. Pretty happy I stuck with the D's. Well, ish. The wheels have fallen off, so maybe I thought. Sort of Birthday to the Queen. I haven't had a ripper. I can't believe she's still kicking, but good on it. Now it's time to get stuck in. It goes all right. You know what? Who passed from Oswald? 
Um, I don't know if you've seen the picture for the new Buzz Lightyear when he was young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of a young Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, that's Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Oh. Hello, me, mate. It's God's gift. A lot of sodium, though. A lot of sodium. Mm. That'll be good for the calories <laughs> early in the week. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm doing that week challenge, but we'll let this one slide. A lot of sodium, is it? I believe uh, halloumi contains a lot of that macronutrient. What's sodium bad for? Uh, so that sound like you're living, does it? I don't know. I don't read into it. All I know is <laughs> it's something. Right. Uh, sodium oh. would have something to do with cholesterol, I reckon. Uh, well, come on, mate. Well, it's something to do with clog my arteries, I dare you. See what happens. Glutens. Clog them. Get back and clog the arteries. <laughs> Hell. Jesus! Oh my God, are you Caden McDonald? Got a few of those on the weekend. Can I get a photo, please? What was that? Can you sign my arm? Yeah, just about to kick off the pod. Rog is now in segment two, so he's moved up the ranks. How are you feeling about that? I'm excited for today, but I'm more excited that given the trajectory, it should only be another three weeks or four, definitely before September where I'm taking my wine and you're starting to fall down the rankings, Melbourne style. <laughs> sort of lost the last three. You've been bumped ahead of um, Caleb Zerong. So they just went, Caleb Zerong, Zerong, but so right. <laughs> I knew that in a Brucey Mac voice, but I think it was actually Hutto, wasn't it? I said that to Caleb Zerong. That was one of my questions. I just well, said, so wrong, so right. Yeah, well, Did you? That question from? <laughs> we remembered where, because we heard the noise and we were convinced it was something to do. So we remembered roundabout where the noise was, where we heard the clunk clunk. So we drove back and we did one lap that way, couldn't see. And then we obviously had to come back and Ben had fucking found it, it was unreal. <sighs> Can you imagine the feeling when we found it? And we were ringing it and we knew that it was still ringing so it couldn't have been completely fucked like maybe yeah. the screen was. And yeah. Oh, look at this Baz. Like this is just like a bit on the top right corner but brand spanking. Bit on the top right corner, bit of the case broken down there. 100 kilometers an hour it's fine off. People crack the screen from dropping it down here. Yeah. 100 kilometers an hour off the roof. Look after your belongings. Yeah, I should do. Yeah, you know, so you know what the worst bit was? So I put it on the roof. So me and Ben were waiting in the car and Tommy was taking too long to get ready so we thought, oh we'll have a little kick at the footy, I had a footy in the back. Put my phone on the roof and I said, Benna, it's not his fault, but I said, Benna, um, don't let me leave this phone on the roof. And he goes, yep, no worries. Even if you've done that, I can't believe that you... I flagged it and then we're kicking the footy and then Tommy goes, right, I'm ready. So he forgets to notify me but I forget myself. We get in the car and we hear the clink clink and, we, and my phone cuts out of the Bluetooth. But we didn't put two and two together, oh even though God. even though I gave him warning and we drove for another like 40 but minutes. But if your Bluetooth cut out, I would be like, "Hey guys, I'll try and fix. Like I'll try and see why." Because uh, on the drive up, on the drive up, my phone because I'm with Bodo cut out of the tunes, and Ben had to put his on because he's a Telstra. So we just assumed oh, both phones cut out, and we put the clink clink at the same time. That does make sense yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So, so it was just to wrap up. The weekly vlog, I'm going to talk about the D's result. Now, I wasn't at the game. Um, I was struggling to get tickets, and I don't know if my ticket master is playing funny buggers on me, but essentially when there's a game that has a slightly bigger crowd than normal, and it happened earlier this season for me when I was trying to go to the Essendon game, it just tells me that everywhere is exhausted. And I do believe that everywhere was exhausted for this game. There was 75,000, but I was trying to get tickets where I normally sit, and it's normally the MCC, and maybe if it's not the MCC, it's up, up the top of the MCC. And it just told me everywhere was exhausted. So I, I looked at tickets where I don't normally sit. Um, and they were just full as well. And I was like, oh man, I could go to the MCG and sit two rows from the back. Or I could stay home, watch it with dad for the first time in a long time. Um, and to be honest as well, I've been pretty burnt out the last few weeks. Like going to regional Victoria, going up to Melbourne every single day um, has really taken it out of me. So I was a bit flat and I thought, you know what, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to watch the game. My thoughts on the game, super disappointing, guys, super disappointing. Uh, we've lost in the same fashion the last three weeks. There's no backline cohesion. I can't believe Rivers, Hunt and Tomlinson are in the two, sort of trying to work on their form. 
they're the experience we need in our team right now. Um, Tomlinson in particular, I don't know why we went smaller in the back line with May out. It was just so frustrating. Big Sammy Wiedemann, absolute favourite of the show, uh, didn't get selected. And I'm a big Mitch Brown fan. I think he plugs holes when we need holes to be plugged. But when you got Sam Wiedemann waiting in the wings for his opportunity and then you're making him earn his selection again, like I don't know how many times this guy has to earn earn his spot in the side. So I feel really, really frustrated with that selection as well. gorney has gone down with an injury. Uh, May and Melksham are fighting. It has been a bit of a rough patch to be a Melbourne supporter. Uh, but we get to the bye at 10 and 3. Now we have the hardest fixture to finish off the season. And it's either going to make or break us. We're either legit or we're not. And I don't think injuries and whatnot, you know, we've had a few. Um, I don't think it's an excuse. I think it's now down to the cohesion. We're all back in the side, and we've all got to sort of knuckle down and get it done. But I will be going to the Melbourne-Brisbane game, and I'm trying to go to the Melbourne-Geelong game at GMHBA. That stadium is hard to get tickets at, regardless whether it has a full stand or not, even though half of it's knocked over. Um, it might be a little bit more trickier this year. But that is my thoughts on Queen's birthday. Super disappointing. Um, but we need to bounce back and I'll be back on the boys in. Once again, guys, I appreciate all the support. If you didn't check out the Caleb Sarong chat, you're an absolute silly billy because it was one of my favourite chats so far uh, to do with the podcast. He was unbelievable to talk to Caleb Sarong and he's an absolute superstar. And the Dockers are flying, so if you want to check that out, uh, the link will be in the description down below. Once again, guys, I appreciate the support and I'll see you all for some more content very soon.